Hi everyone, welcome to Snowflake 101. In this video, we will be going over Snowpipe ingest. Snowflake supports three different modes of data ingestion. Bulk loading using copy command, Snowpipe auto ingest, and Snowpipe streaming. In this video, we will be going over Snowpipe auto ingest. Snowpipe is Snowflake's continuous data loading service for files. Snowpipe enables loading data from a file as soon as they are available in a stage. This means you can load data from files in micro batches, making it available to users within minutes rather than manually executing the copy statements on a schedule to load larger batches. Snowpipe supports structured data types such as CSV and TSV files and semi-structured data types such as JSON, Avro, ORC, and Parquet. XML support is in preview. Unlike bulk loading, which loads data in single transactions, Snowpipe loads depend on the number and size of the rows in each data file. To decide whether they should combine it into single transaction or split them into multiple loads. A pipe is a named first class Snowflake object that contains a copy statement. This statement identifies the location of the data files, there is a stage, and a target table. You will need a Snowflake account with the user role that has the required permissions to run the DDL commands. And you also need an account with one of the supported cloud service providers to use Snowpipe ingest. Remember, Snowpipe enables loading data from the files as soon as they are available in a stage. So, Snowpipe can get triggered in one of two ways. First, after receiving an event notification from a cloud service provider, or by directly calling the Snowpipe insert files REST API. Once Snowpipe receives a notification that a new data files are coming, it copies these files into a queue through the pipe and straight into the table. Snowpipe thus eliminates the need for a virtual data warehouse, and it instead uses its internal compute resources to continuously load the data files as they are staged. So you are only charged for the actual data loaded. When Snowpipe encounters error during a load, it pushes the notification to a configured cloud messaging service. However, the error notifications only work when the on error copy option is set to skip file. To understand more about your error, query the status of the pipe using the system function pipe status. Well, here is a bonus for you. Currently, Snowflake offers another feature called Snowpipe Streaming for low latency loads of streaming data rows, which is kind of different from Snowpipe. So check out Snowpipe Streaming section if you're interested to learn more. To learn more about Snowpipe hinges, check out the link in the description below. This is Snowflake 101, and I am Vinod Raisami. See you in the cloud.